This friend I mentioned, let's call her Emily, was a force of nature in my life. Despite my initial resistance, she persisted in becoming my friend right after high school. I was content in my solitude, believing I didn't need anyone else. But Emily saw through my walls of isolation and recognized the loneliness I carried within me. She never gave up on reaching out, and eventually we became the best of friends. We shared laughter, tears and countless memories. But then life took an unexpected turn and Emily had to move overseas. Although physically separated, her place in my heart remained empty, a constant reminder of the void her absence created. The remarkable thing about our friendship is that whenever we do manage to connect, we unfortunately isn't as often as I like, it feels like no time has passed at all. We effortlessly slip back into the familiar rhythm of our conversations, picking up where we left off even after decades have gone by. It's a bond that defies distance and time, a rare and precious connection that I cherish deeply. During my time in America, I received a thrilling invitation from a recording studio. It was a golden opportunity to pursue my musical dreams. However, the financial realities of life prevented me from seizing it. The high costs associated with recording and production stood as an insurmountable barrier, crushing my hopes of realizing my musical aspirations. It was a bittersweet moment filled with regret and what-ifs. Returning to South Africa, I found myself at the age of 28, starting over and living with my parents again. I was humbling, yet I am forever grateful for my amazing parents. They have been unwavering pillars of support throughout my life, offering love, guidance and encouragement. Without their constant presence and unwavering belief in me, I don't think I would have been able to navigate the challenges and hardships that have come my way. Just when I thought my dreams were slipping further out of reach, an unexpected opportunity arose. The art school where I'd previously worked reached out to me. They asked if I would be interested in a three-month contract as a substitute music teacher at their satellite school in Cape Town. The current teacher was going on maternity leave and they believed I was the perfect fit for the role. I've never been to Cape Town before and the prospect of embarking on this new adventure excited me. Without hesitation, I packed up my belongings, bid farewell to my parents and said, up for the vibrant and picturesque city of Cape Town. The three months that followed were transformative. I immersed myself in the rich cultural scene, taught enthusiastic students and discovered the beauty of Cape Town's landscapes and people. It was a period of growth, exploration and rejuvenation. Do you want to hear more about my thrilling three-month adventure in Cape Town? Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll share the highs, the lows and the lessons I learned along the way. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night.